The Brandenburg Gate, behind me, has been at the heart of Berlin for over 200 years. But in 1949, the time of leaving Berlin, it was at the heart of a wasteland. Four years after the end of World War II, Berlin was still a city of ruins, its streets piled with rubble. Only two businesses were thriving. One was the black market, the other was espionage. Located deep in the Soviet zone, occupied Berlin was a city made for spies. In 1949, long before the wall went up, the borders of the sectors were porous. This was the east, over there the west. All you had to do to go from one to the other was cross the street. Alex Meyer is a writer who was crossed to the east. A native Berliner who fled Hitler for America, he has been invited back by the Soviets. In this new Cold War, even culture has become a battleground, and the Russians have been luring artists like Alex home with promises of special privileges and a new anti-fascist society, a socialist paradise that is about to become a prison. Their most famous catch is the playwright Bertolt Brecht, a friend of Alex's in exile. When his play Mother Courage and Her Children opens here at the Deutsches Theater on January 11th, 1949, a premiere will attend in leaving Berlin. It becomes an historic evening and a triumph for the Soviet cultural ministers who have brought him here. Like Brecht, Alex is put up here at the grand old Adlon Hotel now restored to its former glory, but then a burnt-out shell with a few rooms in the back annex. Still, the Adlon. But what his Soviet hosts don't know is that Alex has been recruited by the CIA to be its agent in East Berlin. What Alex doesn't know is that his job won't just be routine intelligence gathering, meeting his contact here at Volkspark Friedrichshain, but a morally compromising assignment to spy on the only woman he has ever loved. When a kidnapping goes wrong and he becomes a wanted man, he's forced to play both sides off against each other, a balancing act he's bound to lose if he stays in Berlin. But leaving Berlin turns out to be a lot more difficult than getting in. Blockaded by the Soviets on all sides, the Western sectors now depend for their very existence on an airlift. Most of the planes come here, Tempelhof Airport, Closed down now, the old runways used for cycling and skateboarding in a vast public park, but then the busiest airport in the world. A plane every 90 seconds, 8,000 tons of supplies a day. A lifeline, but not a passenger service. As Alex will discover, a ticket out of Berlin comes with a price. Changing sides in Berlin is as easy as passing through this gate. But a sector boundary is only one line that Alex will have to cross. Personal betrayal, murder. Where do you draw the line? Leaving Berlin is about the lines Alex crosses and doesn't cross. In a desperate city where all the lines have become blurred, even the one to survival.